Hi, I'm going to show you today how to install a system called Octave. It's a software system. It's a clone of MATLAB, but it's free. I use MATLAB quite a lot over the last 25 plus years and become very fluent in it, but I don't like the fact that it's an expensive uh, paid for software. So I'm really happy to try to use Octave to replace MATLAB as much as I can. And actually, it's a pretty good clone. There are a few small differences. So I'm just going to show you how, if you want uh, to use some of my programs in Octave, it's free and it's easy to download. So first of all, I've just Googled Octave download um, and the GNU version is very good, in my opinion. So you can download it. I use Windows, so I'm going to go to Windows and the latest version of Octave is 5.2.0, released in January 2020. So I'm going to use uh, the Windows 64. I'm a Windows 10 user. And I'm going to use the installer. So I'm downloading it. It'll take a couple of minutes. So now it's downloaded uh, the installer. I'm going to open it. Uh, it asks me if I want to make changes. Yeah, I'm going to make the changes. It likes to have a Java runtime environment, which I don't have on my machine. Um, I'm just going to continue and I can always add the Java runtime later. And then it's just a simple, inst you know, normal instruction led installation with a license agreement. I'm not going to register the M file type with Octave and I'm going to install it. I'm happy with that directory and it just will install. And now it's finished the installation, which is great. And you can run it. I'm not going to do that now. And you should look at the readme file, but I won't do that now. And we just finish. It's basically done. Notice here it tells you that the um, Octave Forge, Source Forge, a trusted source, provides some packages um, to uh, in enhance Octave. So now I'm just going to run Octave. Here it is. So here are two icons here. This is the command line interpreter. So just doing it, uh, you know, with a text command at a prompt. I'm going to use the GUI, the graphical user interface. So I'm going to open it. It looks like pretty much any integrated development environment, IDE. We have our files, we have our command line, and we have stuff here, documentation, and we can look at our variables. So this is where we would type in the commands. <clears throat> So we should do what it said, package list, and we'll see the packages that are here. A whole load of them you can look through and some cool stuff. So actually we'll see here the statistics package is loaded, which is great. Sometimes it isn't loaded and then you have to actually load the package at the beginning of your session. So <clears throat> if you want to load a package, you can find out and anything else about package. You can find out by typing help the package command lots of information if you read through it says if you wanted if statistics wasn't loaded for example or any other package you write package load and then the name of the package so statistics or any of the other packages and there are several around you can google to find something if there's anything interesting that seems to be missing from octave bye for now